This is the first version of multi-purpose PCB, I designed back in 2020. This is the second version of multi-purpose PCB, I designed back in 2021. This is the latest third version of multi-purpose PCB, which I recently designed it. Each year I have improved the PCB design and functionality by learning from the last mistakes. This PCB really helped me a lot to build my projects. First of all we will see capability of this PCB, and how this PCB became useful for Arduino projects. You can connect two DC motors, two potentiometers, two servo motors, one serial device, one encoder with interrupt pins, one I square C device, and two stepper motors, at the same time to the PCB. Here are the some special features of PCB. Wide range of power input, 9 volts to 24 volts DC, cross polarity protection, DC motor voltage selection, 9 volts or 12 volts DC, servo motor voltage selection, 5 volts or 9 volts DC, power indication LED, L298N, IC for heavier DC motor, on board 5 volts and 9 volts regulator, no need to arrange different power sources. Most of the major components are surface mount. That is the big reason I managed to reduce the size of PCB. This PCB is even smaller to size of credit card. SMD components are directly came pre-solder with PCB, thanks to JLC PCB, PCB assembly service. Now no need to worry about arranging components for your PCB. You can directly order SMD components along with PCB. So you receive PCB with components already soldered on them. No stress of ordering components, no stress of soldering them on PCB. This way you can save lots of your time and money. Now only you have to focus on your projects. JLC PCB will look after you all PCB related needs. Now we will see how to design SMT PCB and order along with components on jlcpcb.com. This is the schematic of the multi-purpose PCB. I have designed it like any normal PCB. The only thing we have to take care here is the selection of SMD components. Suppose we need LM7805 voltage regulator with TO252 footprint. So first we have to go to library. Now a part search bar will open. Now in search option, we have to write the initials of the required components, like we need 7805 voltage regulator, so we write here 7805 and press enter. Now huge list of related parts will came up. So we need to select the 7805 IC with footprint of TO252. So in footprint column we will search for 252. And see, here we found it, now select this and click on place. This way you can select and place SMD components to prepare your schematic. Meanwhile we also prepare the PCB as per the schematic. First of all we need Gerber file to order PCB. For that, first off all save the project and go to fabrication tab and click on PCB fabrication file. Form here you can choose from, get Gerber or one click order PCB SMT. I'm going to select PCB SMT option. Now we will directly came up on JLC PCB website. Our Gerber file is loaded. Now in SMT assembly option click on confirm. Now here we need two more files, BOM and pick and place file. To get those two files, we need to visit PCB editor again, now go to file option, and here you get both files, export them and return to JLC PCB page. Now upload both of the files, and click on confirm. Now here you can manually select or unselect the components with you want came along with PCB. After doing this, you can click on confirm. And in this way USMT PCB order is almost done. After ordering my PCB, I received it in 7 days, which is pretty fast.
Now I will start soldering the header pins to the PCB, after that I will show you a demo. Now our demo setup is ready, I have attached all the motors, servos, stepper, display, knob encoder etc. Now we will run them one by one.